Hello, everybody, and welcome to another weekly update. Uh, my name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, thank you for joining me for what we are calling a um, Pages Part 2, Part 1, or Week 1, I guess. Uh, we're going to be ta talking about margins today. Um, but before we get into that, as usual, I want to give a big shout out and a big th thank you to all of the people that sponsor me. And uh, especially to this week's Ride the GNU Spot sponsor, Polyart. Uh, thank you so much for your help, uh, making sure that I have the time to be able to spend on Inkscape. Um, okay, so let's get into what we have got done this week. Um, first of all, there is a fix that I managed to put in for the guides. Uh, when you create a guide, um, there's a feature that if you have snapping switched on, the guide can actually change orientation depending upon the snapping that happens. Um, but there was a bug, and that bug wasn't very obvious until we did the multi-page work. Um, once the multi-page work was in, uh, the, the fact that the guide didn't forget what the orientation was as it was snapping meant that guides would suddenly flip from being, say, vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical, and there was no seeming way of getting it back again, uh, making a very frustrating experience if you had snapping while you were creating guides. Um, so that that has been fixed. I've managed to make it so that it doesn't forget what the, or, the original orientation of the guide is when it's not snapping. Um, but it's actually a really cool feature that I don't think a lot of people know about because it'll even do a perpendicular line in a curve, for example, which is it's kind of nice. Um, okay, so multi-page work, which is exactly what we have been trying to work on. Uh, week one is margins. And uh, I'll admit the first part of this week was actually kind of frustrating. I needed to put together a new format, uh, a new data for format to store all of the margin information. And what I did was I chose the HTML CSS box model. Um, this is a simple for format for, uh, it's basically an array of lengths. So say you say five centimeters, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters, five centimeters, for example. Uh, and it's got a couple of rules. Like if you just say five centimeters, then every single, um, uh, margin will be five centimeters, right? Uh, so people who do HTML will know the for format quite well, um, but it's not a part of SVG. So I had to code up some formatting and um, Inkscape's formatting code is older and creakier. Um, it made me honestly want to rewrite a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, but I resisted because we, we need to get the margin stuff, uh, but I may have to revisit it. Um, so what it what it means is that um, we saved the margin in a box for format. Um, I added on screen hand handles so you can actually drag the nodes around. These can snap. Um, I added a toolbox uh, toolbar item so you can actually set the uh, margins. Um, some of the designs called for having four separate boxes for top left, right, and bottom. Um, but for now, I've decided to just have a single box with that you can type in uh, whatever measurements that you want, separated by other commas or spaces. Um, please let me know what you would prefer. Um, my pre preference is for a single box. I think it's cleaner for a tool toolbar, uh, but maybe we have an opportunity in the future to have little pop-ups that, that where you have the four boxes that pop up afterwards. Um, extra work, but maybe use, useful if you say if you t tell me that yeah, four four boxes would be more more interesting. Um, obviously, you can use units and other things there. Um, the one of the things that I had to change was in, in default Inkscape. Uh, the assumption is that your first page is always not a page, right? It's just the SVG, right? It's an empty SVG, uh, and your second page is it basically turns it into two pages. Margins are being stored on pages, and I didn't want a bizarre situation of having margins only available if you have more than one page. So what I did was is that when you set margins on the first page, it turns it from being not a page into a page. This is an implementation detail. Uh, it's just a weird situation. It is technically a change in assumptions, but that's okay. Um, if anybody has any extensions problems or other problems, then we will we'll fix those down, down the line. Uh, obviously, snapping an alignment to the mar margin box has been created. 
uh, rendering of the mar margin so that you can actually see it. Um, resizing to selection, right? So if you resize to selection by default, it will include the mar margins, uh, which I believe is one of the main indicators that pre people wanted. Uh, grids, I did want to get to grids, but uh, James, the intern James, is actually working on refactoring the whole of the grids code because grids are, are completely broken in terms of their implementation. So what I've done is I put that to one side uh, until that refactoring is finished. Um, the, the feature that we want is we want grids to be able to be aligned to the margins of the page um, instead of just the first page. Um, this may require some tweet and tweaking about whether a grid is owned by a page or not, but we'll get into that implementation when it comes time to actually developing that. Um, but that's actually all, all that's happened for mar margins this week. Um, I, I think that I may have struggled a bit with the with the actual data for, for, formatting stuff, but at least I wrote tests. So the uh, Inkscape test suite actually tests those 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 box for, for, formats, which is nice. I like that. Um, so let's get straight into uh, other Inkscape news. This week, um, not a lot actually, but uh, let's have a look anyway. Nathan, who continues his excellent test testing work. Uh, rescued a patch by David Jean. It was a fix for sh for shadows and glows, um, and he's put put that into MapMaster and uh, backported port it. Um, he's also fixed two cr crashes: one in LP path, and one detecting a wrong element type. Um, those are excellent. Those will also be backported port for 1.2.1 when that point point release gets done. Uh, Raphael. Um, let's see, he did only pop up the tool pre preferences if you actually double click on the button. And he uh, fixed the translatability of marker labels. Um, that's pretty much it though. There's not, actually not been a lot of activity this, this week. Um, thank you all for your suggestions and some of the submissions for templates. Uh, it's excellent stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to picking through which ones we, we can actually ship with Inkscape and how to do it in the best way. And um, yeah, thank, thank you all for, for watching this this week. Let, let, let me know. Um, follow last week's video if you want to know like what the next steps are in the uh, pages work. I think it's just going to be output form from formats this coming week, but I may actually have to work on the mar margin some more. We'll see. We'll see what the code review lo looks looks like. Um, but th thank you all and have a very good week.